Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst David Madden. And today's date is Wednesday the 27th of September and the time is 12.15pm. And the chart that we're going to look at today is the FTSE 100. Um, taking a quick look at the kind of broader shape of the chart and the broader moves you've seen on the chart over the last 10 months. From November last year, it's been, broadly speaking, a, a fairly decent push higher on the FTSE 100. It rallied from late 2016 uh, all the way through 2017 for the first half of the year, culminating with an, a, reaching a record high, all-time high in June of this year. But since June, we have been pushing lower, and we're currently trading at 7,384, and we're in a, a price area which is quite significant. And it's significant because the 7,300 area was a significant support during the summer, and we're also nearing the 200 day moving average at 7,330. Notice how, in the summertime, as the market was drifting lower, uh, we did manage to find, some, find support in around the 7,300 level. We found it uh, as a support, uh, at 7,300. It acted as support in, 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 uh, in June, July, and August. And then when it finally smashed through that level uh, decisively in, se in September of this year, it also took out the 200-day moving average. Now, as you can see from mid-September until now, we have seen the price push higher. And if you look at the momentum indicator, you can also notice that negative momentum is declining. So when the price is pushing high, when the price and the momentum are pushing in the same direction, you can then become more confident that the move is going to continue. It's only when we have a large divergence between the two, that could be a sign that the price movement could potentially be coming to an end. So we're currently trading at 7,308. So we're just north of the 7,300 level. We're eyeing up the 200 day moving average, which comes into play at 7,330. Should we clear that level at 7,330, that would, that, would, that would be a bullish indicator, seeing as the 200-day moving average is deemed to be quite an important metric uh, in the financial markets. If the market's north of us, if it's 200-day moving average, that's seen as, as quite bullish. And if it's south of it, that seems to be bearish. So if we do push higher through the 200-day moving average, we can then potentially target the 50-day moving average at 7,384. And then the 100-day moving average at 7,418. North of those, north of, the, of those metrics, uh, the next level to potentially watch out for will be the September high at 7,461. And if you take that level out, buyers will then be looking towards the August high of 7,552. And then north of that, uh, we'll be looking towards the all-time high at just shy of 7,600. Uh, as I mentioned about momentum indicator a moment ago, if the, if the price does uh, go north of the 200-day moving average and it, and it continues to, to create multi-week and multi-month highs, what you would like to see on the momentum indicator is a swing, which is currently in negative territory, into positive territory and then increase as the price is going up. If the indicator and the price are moving in the same direction, you'd be more confident that that move will last. Now, now that we've, we've discussed what would happen price action wise if the, if, the move, if the market clears the 200 day moving average, let's take a look at the downside and see what might happen if the market can't crack the 200 day moving average. So there's been a number of attempts to kind of run up towards the 200 day moving average, but it hasn't quite got there yet. And if the market can't crack the 7,330 level, we could see some of the buying momentum fade. And if that is the case, and the FTSE does begin to turn over on itself, we could then look to, to retest this price here of 7,233. South of that, bears would then be looking towards the September low of 7,195. And if that is taken out, uh, the next big level to potentially watch out for for the downside would be the April low at 7,088. Like I was saying about momentum, if the market does start to move south again, what you would want to see to be more confident in, in the continuation of the move is an increase in negative momentum. As I mentioned, if the price and the momentum are moving in the same direction, you can be more confident that the move will continue. And if you are trading the FTSE 100, keep an eye on Friday uh, as the UK does have GDP numbers out, which could add volatility to the market.
Thank you very much. Tune in next week.